The early years, a challenging start. Deos was born in a small village. His parents were farmers. They worked hard every day, but they had little money. Deos was a curious child. He loved to learn, but school was not easy for him. The village school was old and had few resources. Deos struggled to keep up with his classmates. His teachers often scolded him and said he was slow. But Deos never gave up. He stayed after school, asked for help, and practiced his reading at night. By candlelight, he wrote his letters over and over. His hands were calloused from farm work, but he held his pencil tight. Deos's parents worried about him. They saw his struggles, but also saw his determination. They could not help him with his studies, but they encouraged him to keep trying. Deos's mother would say, knowledge is like water. It finds a way through any crack. These words stayed with Deos. As the years passed, Deos grew taller, but his challenges grew too. The lessons became harder and the other children seemed to learn faster. Deos felt left behind, but something inside him refused to quit. He didn't know it yet, but this spirit would carry him far. It would lead him to places he could not imagine. Struggles in senior high, facing academic hurdles. Senior high school was a new world for Deos. The building was bigger, the students were smarter, and the teachers expected more. Deos felt small and lost. He sat in the back of the class, hoping no one would notice him. But when the teachers asked questions, his silence was loud. Math was especially hard for Deos. Numbers danced on the page and refused to make sense. His classmates laughed when he got answers wrong, and the teacher's frown became familiar. Deos's heart sank with each failed test. He wondered if he should quit school. Maybe he wasn't meant for education, but Deos remembered his mother's words. Knowledge is like water. It finds a way, so he kept trying. He stayed up late studying and asked classmates for help. Some were kind, others mocked him, but Deos swallowed his pride. He knew he needed to learn. The days were long and the nights were longer. Deos's eyes burned from reading and his head ached from concentrating, but slowly things began to change. The math problems became a little clearer, and the words in his textbooks started to make sense. Deos wasn't at the top of his class, but he was no longer at the bottom. He was moving forward, one small step at a time. The spark of passion discovering ICT. One day, everything changed for Deos. A new teacher came to the school. He taught information communication technology. Deos had never heard of ICT before, but from the first lesson, he was fascinated. The teacher spoke of computers and the internet. He talked about how technology could change the world. Deos felt a spark inside him. For the first time, learning was exciting. He raised his hand in class and asked questions. The teacher noticed his enthusiasm and encouraged Deos to learn more. After school, Deos would stay in the computer lab. He practiced typing and learned to use different programs. The world of technology opened up before him. At night, Deos dreamed of computers. He imagined building websites and thought about creating apps. During the day, he worked harder than ever. His grades in other subjects improved too. His passion for ICT gave him energy. It made him want to excel in everything. Deos's teachers were surprised by the change. His classmates looked at him differently, but Deos didn't care what others thought. He was too busy learning. He borrowed books on programming and watched online tutorials when he could. Every new piece of knowledge was precious to him. Deos had found his passion. It was like a light in the darkness. It showed him the way forward. For the first time, Deos could see a future for himself beyond the village. Section 4. Perseverance in the face of adversity. Deos's newfound passion did not make his life easy. There were still many challenges. The school's computers were old. They often broke down. Deos had no computer at home. He had to walk miles to the nearest internet cafe. But he never complained. He saw each obstacle as a chance to grow stronger. When the computers at school stopped working, Deos learned to fix them. He read manuals. He asked for advice online. Soon he became the go-to person for tech problems. Teachers and students alike sought his help. Deos worked tirelessly. He fixed computers during lunch breaks. He stayed late after school to finish projects. There were times when Deos wanted to give up. The work was hard. The hours were long. Some people still doubted him. 
They said a village boy couldn't succeed in technology, but Deos remembered his journey. He thought of how far he had come. He refused to let anyone's words stop him. Deos's perseverance inspired others. His classmates saw his dedication. They started to work harder too. The teachers noticed the change in the school. They praised Deos for his positive influence. But Deos didn't let the praise go to his head. He knew he still had much to learn. He focused on his goals. He dreamed of going to university to study ICT. Section 5, Humility, the Silent Strength. As Deos's skills grew, so did his reputation. People in the village heard about the boy who could fix computers. They brought him broken phones and laptops. Deos helped everyone he could. He never asked for payment. He saw each problem as a chance to learn something new. Deos's humility was his secret strength. He never boasted about his knowledge. Instead, he shared it freely. He taught younger students how to use computers. He helped his teachers understand new technology. Deos remembered how it felt to struggle. He wanted to make the path easier for others. This humble attitude opened many doors for Deos. People trusted him. They respected his opinion. When a local business needed a website, they asked Deos for help. It was his first real project. Deos worked day and night to make it perfect. The result was beautiful. The business owner was amazed. Word of Deos's talent spread. More opportunities came his way. But Deos never forgot where he came from. He remained the same kind, hard-working boy. He continued to help anyone who asked. Deos knew that his success was not his alone. It belonged to everyone who had supported him. His humility kept him grounded. It reminded him to always keep learning. Section 6. Triumph and Lessons, the Power of Passion and Humility. Deos's hard work finally paid off. He received a scholarship to study ICT at a top university. It was a dream come true. The day he left for university, the whole village came to see him off. They were proud of the boy who had overcome so much. Deos felt grateful for their support. At university, Deos faced new challenges. The work was harder. The competition was fierce, but Deos was prepared. His years of perseverance had made him strong. His passion for ICT drove him forward. He studied harder than ever. He took on extra projects. He joined coding competitions. Deos's humility served him well in this new environment. He was always ready to learn from others. He collaborated with classmates on projects. He sought advice from professors. Deos's attitude and skills impressed everyone. By his final year, he had job offers from top tech companies. But Deos didn't forget his roots. He chose to return to his village. He wanted to use his skills to help his community. Deos set up a computer training center. He taught young people the skills they needed for the digital age. He showed them that with passion and perseverance, anything is possible.